CCS. Oh boy. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hey, hi. <coughs> hi Elsa. Hi. <coughs> oh, boys, I have something really difficult to do for the studies. I have a big, big, big project about CCS. Can you help me? CCS? Yeah. CCS, yeah, come to strike. I know, I know, I'm doing the, high, the highest score. I'm the best one at this game. <laughs> Man, you are a geek. Forget this. CCS is carbon capture and storage. I don't need your help about video games. CCS, I know, a really good teacher, an international expert. You want, you want to go and see him now? Of course, it would be very good. Yeah, let's go. Leave so your phone, please. Leave your phone, bad geek. Let's go. <laughs> oh, CCS? Yes. Carbon capture and storage? Exactly. Do you guys really know what it is? No, I'm sorry, sir, I don't know. To actually understand this topic CCS, by CCS I mean the carbon capture and storage, we need to understand, first of all, that climate change is a big problem. Activities such as land clearing, burning fossil fuels, for example, the oil, the natural gas, and coal. These human activities produce greenhouse gases. We need to slow down and reverse global warming and its gases, such as the CO2. CCS is actually a good response to all these questions. CCS, I mean, will be the best solution to reduce emissions from fossil energy until the full transition into renewable energies. Imagine that you are a CO2 molecule. Already declared wanted for the problem you caused to our world. Of course, produced chiefly from industries, as Helia mentioned. Then you are captured and put into big bottles, for instance. Just now that you have been captured, you are dried so as to remove the water molecules from the flu and all the components from the flu are removed by other processes. Now after dehydration, you seem to be freer, but we need to take advantage of your volume. Hence, we are ready to compress you. So, are you following me? Yes, I get it. But you'll need a lot of air dryer, right? It's a bit more technical than that. It is more technical. There exist three main technologies of carbon capture. The first, the pre-combustion capture. Coal is combined with oxygen to create a gas which is made up of carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Adding water to this gas causes a reaction which converts carbon monoxide into hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide can be safely captured while the hydrogen can be burned to drive a turbine and generate electricity. It can even be used at fuel cells for cars. In post-combustion capture, the fuel cell is burned as normal, but before the flue gas travels up the chimney, it passes through an absorber column filled with liquid solvent called amine, which absorbs the carbon dioxide before entering the atmosphere. Superheated steam is then passed through the chimney. This releases carbon dioxide from the amines and it can now be safely captured. The last of the process is the oxyfoil process. Before combustion, nitrogen is stripped from oxygen in an air separator. The leftover oxygen is then purer than the normal air we breathe in. When combusted with fossil fuel, it produces carbon dioxide and water vapor. This combination is used in a turbine to generate electricity. Afterwards, the water vapor is cooled, condensed and removed and the remaining CO2 gas is safely captured. After you have been compressed, 
you are now easily transported by a trailer, for instance, to a point where we can easily take you into the reservoir. Our idea of the reservoir is a deep underground storage. Now you go down deep, deeper, even super deep. Super, super deep, super, super deep, and deep until the reservoir. Yes, I think I understand, but just a point. The reservoir, you mean, is it just a hole? No, 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 not at all. It is a rock with a very high porosity. In fact, it is spongy like. I mean, you can see the sponge. Mm -hmm. You can see the holes that is actually made for the CO2 that will be in the liquid form under the reservoir condition to help their migration from one place to another within the reservoir. Just as you have it in an aquifer. In an aquifer? You mean you store CO2 in drinkable water? No, 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 not at all. I mean a saline aquifer. It is far from the drinking water network. Uh, I don't understand, sorry. In details, a reservoir is a vast top of porous rock deep underground. This porous rock is like a sponge filled with millions of microscopic pores. As we inject the liquid CO2 into the porous rock, it spreads through the gaps and fills these pores. Directly above the porous rock is an impermeable layer, meaning it has no tiny holes. It acts like a cap for the liquid CO2 which cannot break through. But it is nothing to worry about. This technology is not new. It is the same technology as can be found in the oil and gas industry. Ah, uh, yes, thank you very much. Now I think I understood everything and my report will be easy to do. Thank you very much, sir. No, 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 no. You have to wait. For what? Sit down. It is not over until it's over, mind you. The fact that we have captured and we have taught the CO2 does not make your CCS project 100% complete. Though we cannot see it under the reservoir, but we do monitor. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand. Why do you need to monitor it since the CO2 is already in the reservoir? Is there any risk for the CO2 to escape from this reservoir? Not exactly. A correctly selected storage is not likely to allow the CO2 to escape. By this I mean a carefully selected depleted gas reservoir. Even at that, it is not finished. There are still are some monitoring measures that have been carried out to monitor for such escape both at the surface and the subsurface level. Even the atmosphere surrounding the site is being monitored for CO2 escape. All these have been carried out to check for the safety and the integrity of our CCS system. To begin really the storage of CO2, the problem we know is majorly economic, politic, and most worrisome is the public acceptance about CCS. I don't understand. Because CCS, it's great, right? Unfortunately, majority of the public are so attached to the Nimbai syndrome. Nimbai? Not in my backyard. Remember, people can be eco-friendly minded, yet they don't want any trouble for themselves. Yeah, yeah, my friend, yes, yeah! <laughs> Some people even seem to subscribe to the idea of CCS. But they quite don't agree to CO2 being stored within their premises. But the public need to realize that their concerns are already considered and appropriately handled. Yes. 
Yes, in fact, this has been the concern of everyone working on this project, CCS, about our warming world. I tell you the truth, your project will be a very good means of educating the public about the situation on ground. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor. I know definitely Thank you. this will help remove your game. Please don't do that. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice having you now. Thank you. 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 Come on. Feel concerned. It's the problem of everybody now. Stop playing. There's a groove like that. Everybody feels good. So the message approach is humoristic and basic. The subject is serious. The fact the earth is warming. Let us all save the world. CCS is everyone's concern.